Hi Capricorn, welcome back. This will be an in-depth reading now into this person's past relationship. Why it failed, what went wrong, what they were looking for um, in this relationship when the two of you come together or when the two of you meet. So we'll have a look into that. <clears throat> this person's past relationship and is it still an ex that's lingering around them with the devil card possibly some sort of secretive behavior or something that they're linked to if it's not work wise what was this person's previous relationship like okay ace of cups very strong emotional connection to this person actually it could have been a water sign a cancer pisces or scorpio someone that they were really serious with they were definitely in love or had a very strong emotional connection with this person <clears throat> um, it's often this the ace of cups often has a christian connotation to it so it could be indicative that they perhaps were thinking about engagement were married or were seriously considering marriage or joining unions uh, with the ace of cups here they're very attached to this person so they are capable of love they are capable of commitment um, and i think they gave them a lot of that with the ace of cups it's definitely a lot of love and a lot of emotion there was an um, if if anything there was too much emotion this is someone who they held very very important it might even be the love of their life Okay, then the two cards that are sticking out or three okay the queen of wands it might have been a leo that they were with very strong connection here very strong spiritual and karmic connection here but a lot of physicality as well so emotionally and physically the relationship was quite strong however if it's a leo queen possibly there was cheating involved um she is quite open open-minded and she's quite open to new opportunities and she's quite liberal in a sense. So I feel <clears throat> with the Queen of Wands, it might have been uh, a Leo male or a female that maybe cheated or maybe were over overzealous in their physicality and in their sexuality, which might have led to something here. Um, because these other two cards, the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups, Okay, it was quite a relationship that struggled a lot because there's a sword here. It's almost like there's a battle. There was a lot of hardships in this relationship. There was a lot of, you know, it's almost like fighting for emotion because the King of Cups is here, the Ace of Cups, and we see this turbulent water around him. So I think regardless of it, whether it's a male or a female you're after, I think, I think this person definitely had to fight for a lot of emotion had to fight their way into somebody's heart they eventually made it but i think it had it had a lot of um consequences as a result i don't think there was an immediate connection with this this person this ex <clears throat> but it took a lot of um it's almost like they had to fight through something they had to battle over something there was a large obstacle involved um and you can see the king and the queen and this is the couple, this is them as a couple, and one was more emotionally invested and the other just more physically invested. <clears throat> it might have been the fire sign that was more, if this is an ex, that was definitely more physically invested into the relationship, didn't want anything more emotional. Um, I think they both, they both had, they both shared the Ace of Cups, which is nice, but I still think one uh, leaned more towards physicality and the other more to a more emotional connection. So I just don't think they were compatible and they tried to make it right with the um, Ace of Swords. They tried to battle it out. They tried to make it work and cut away the negativity, cut away was what wasn't necessary. Um, but at the end of the day, I just don't think it worked. So this person that's coming towards you, there's possibly still feeling for, ex, for this ex. Um, that's coming up but the ace of swords it just i think it worked for a while and then it just it fell apart okay i'm just gonna take this one okay seven of cups yep a lot of things were up in the air it just wasn't working they wanted different things 
there was no answers, there was no coming together in a beautiful, long-lasting union. There was just too many questions, too many things that were, remained unanswered. They both imagined different, wanted and imagined very, very different things from each other. I think they do, they, they do, they do still care about each other. And they once were very much in love and they're capable of having something or wanting something very, very serious. But I think at the time there was just either someone was unfaithful to the other or someone just wanted adventure and didn't want that stable partnership. It just wasn't in what they were trying to manifest with the Seven of Cups, which is a lot of scattered energy. So things weren't aligning between the two of them. Lack of compatibility here. They weren't at the correct life stages to merge and have this. They tried. They did. There could have possibly been a separation between the two of them. And then they came back together. Um, so they tried for a time. But at the end of the day, I just I don't think it, it was worth trying for them anymore. Any more than what they did. So they are, there are, as much as they might seem, especially initially, especially with the physical part, they are wanting that deep emotional connection because they do want marriage we can see that with the ace of cups they're wanting commitment they want that ace of cups they want that crazy head over heels passionate love they don't want the turmoil they don't want deceit they don't want negativity they don't want to have to fight for it because this those type of emotions should come naturally from the other person if they're invested in this person this is how they see relationships Again, I just, with the Seven of Cups, this energy is, as much as they're wanting, I think they're wanting a lot, uh, as much as they're wanting emotion and physicality and um, smooth sailing and not to have to force someone to care or to love them or not have to battle it out in some way, they're also a little bit unsure. So they're still going through a lot of things. They're still growing but they are a kind soul and they are a kind lover and they do love. And when they do love, they do love with all their heart. But I think it's just taking them a little bit longer um, because they're still, they're still trying to manifest a lot. I think a relationship, it has to be all or nothing for them because if it doesn't encompass everything, they don't want it. So they could have really high standards in the relationship, but you know, so be it. This person obviously knows what they want, Capricorn. And I certainly think you're capable of giving them that. I think you just need to be patient um, and just watch the connection grow. Because the physical part will attract them initially, but to keep them interested and vice versa, to keep you interested, um, it's almost like it needs to be the best of both worlds for the two of you. Let's have a look though, um, when you do come together, for those of you that will enter into a relationship with this person, how the relationship will be towards um, towards each other, how you'll feel towards each other and how your partnership um, will be. And on the left hand side, Capricorn, I'd like to do how you feel, how you'll feel in the relationship, how you will see them. And on the right hand side, I'll do how, how they're feeling. Okay, what's fallen out? How you're feeling? Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> now the Seven of Pentacles is, is this energy of feeling very reflective. And this is when things start to get a little bit serious now because this shows that the way you'll see them and the way you'll feel about this relationship is that there's a lot of contemplation around the relationship. There's a lot of assessment, but I think it's in a good way. I think you're contemplating a lot of serious moves and serious milestones and having something maybe you haven't experienced quite like this before. It can speak about gain and growth. So I think things are getting really serious, especially for you. I think you'll definitely want them as a serious life partner, someone you can be completely committed to. And I love that it's the pentacles because the pentacles do denote stability. So I think you see them when you're in a relationship together or when, you st when you're starting those early stages, 
you see them as someone that is capable of having that serious emotional side. We spoke about this. They are capable of doing that. I think you just need to give them more time. But there's a lot of reflection. I think you feel very reflective when you're around this person, especially when the two of you come together. Um, that's in an emotional and mental sense, I guess, but in a more physical in a more physical aspect, this goes to show that the two of you will be growing um, growing together. And this could be that you might move in together, you might be overlooking finances, you might be merging finances, purchasing a home together, um, seriously spending large, large money or large funds on your future with this person, with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, the Knight of Chalices. Strong emotion here. You'll definitely feel very strongly about this person. Not only physically, but um, emotionally. You've got the Knight of Chalices. <clears throat> the Knight of Chalices is this offer of emotion. It's a gift. It's a lover. It almost feels like you're, you're so happy and you're so glad that this person is around you. Um, this is how you'll see them. You see them as a friend and then lover though. So I'm interested to see that you might already know this person and you might grow and you might change and move out of that friendship zone and into something more intimate, into something more romantic as well. But I see you placing a lot of value on this person, especially emotionally. And it's almost like you want to emotionally spoil them, if that makes any sense, Capricorn. It's almost like you want to shower them with kisses and hugs and affection, which is nice, which says a lot. It's a very, you know, you're really considering them and you really will consider them, especially when you come together, including them in everything that you do. Very much someone who's going to play an active part, especially for you. Okay, the Queen of Wands, she's come up twice. And if this is how you will feel and if this is how you will see it, there's very, this person encompasses a lot, definitely emotionally and physically. Um, they're going to give you a lot of adventure, which you love. The, this movement around them, I think you'll very much appreciate. It's fertility as well in this particular deck. So, and two queens have popped up and we see she's, she's very, um, she's open. So you're very open-minded with this person and what, in what, whichever aspect that may be, you're very open. And for some, it's very, very much so that you're open to having children with this person. You're very open to the idea because you're planning for the future with the seven of pentacles You've got the emotion, you've got the love, you've got your chalice out. There's no hesitation here and you're open. You're open and receptive. And there's a lot of lust here. There's a very strong physical attraction and connection. It's like a burning flame. Let's have a look at how they'll feel about you when the two of you come together. Okay, the Knave of Chalices. I love this. So you've come up as the Knight of Chalices. That's how you'll feel towards them. And they've come up as the Knave of Chalices. Emotional movement, study, meditation, confession, emotional vulnerability. This is how they'll see you. It's almost like they'll want to expose their emotional vulnerability, um, expose what they've done in the past, what sort of relationship they've had, expose their vulnerability to you as the knave of chalices. This is emotional movement, study, reflection, meditation. You're definitely someone they're going to be very intrigued by. They're, they'll be very enamored. They'll be very... As much as I think you'll be assessing and contemplating them, they're doing the same to you which shows a bit of compatibility here that you're very much um, like-minded towards each other. 
But what's interesting is you've come up higher. You've come up as the knight of chalices. They've come up as the knave. So they might be slower to grow feelings than you. You might grow these feelings faster. And it doesn't. it's not to say that that won't happen with this person. They're capable of love and falling in love, especially with you. But it'll take them longer. Because they're coming up as the knave, whereas you're the knight. Okay, the six of swords. They're definitely you'll definitely help them grow in some way. The six of swords is about leaving past pains, past hurts behind, embarking on a new journey. There's movement here. There's certainly travel involved. So I think you'll this person will very much include you in their travel plans and movement. You'll possibly relocate or move with this person because of work purposes or other. The six of swords is um, being daring. Embarking on this amazing journey together. There's a boat here. There's a ship. <clears throat> and if this is how they see you, then they want to embark on this journey with you. And it could be emotional. We do see water here. It could be mental. We see the swords. Or it could be in the physical sense. But you'll definitely be very much a blessing to this person because you will help them. Whether you realize it or not, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, your energy, your presence and them being in a partnership will, with you will help them grow and flourish in leaps and bounds. <clears throat> I love that. And it's almost like a life journey. You're going on a life journey together. So for some of you, just it's something really amazing and potentially really long term. <clears throat> okay, the hermit. The hermit is seen as um, <clears throat> someone who likes to retreat sometimes, this withdrawal of spiritual energy or guidance that is needed. And if this is how they're seeing you, it's almost like they're seeing you single or they're seeing you on your own. So it, it's a possibility that the two of you might go on a break um, in this relationship that the two of you due to geographical distance possibly with the six of swords it could be a trip or work takes you to different countries but with the hermit card it's if they're seeing you as the hermit um they they're seeing you as someone um that either wants solitude capricorn or someone that's going to be on their own so there's possibility of singledom so I'm not sure if the, some of you will break apart before you come back together somehow. Um, but again, the hermit is symbolic of spirituality and wisdom. So they could see you as someone with um, a lot of enlightenment, with a lot of spiritual wisdom, with a lot of life experience. That's quite life learned that has been through a lot. And it's almost like you're there to be a living, breathing example for them if they haven't experienced those things. And they're going to hold you in a very high regard they have a lot of idolatry around you because they're very fascinated by what it is that you've done here that why you've come up as the the hermit so i think for the most part a quite a compatible relationship but i think um there's certainly an, an element of teaching with this person you'll you'll be teaching this person <clears throat> about themselves about how to love about how to um, be loved in a relationship and not that they're emotionally immature I just think they haven't had <clears throat> a connection where it's been so reciprocal because I think in their past they've had this either physical or emotional it hasn't been both so they've lacked in that department so I think this relationship should the two of you come together will really encompass everything um, in what a relationship ought to be because what you have in the middle here is the queen of wands this is what's driving the relationship. So as much as the physical component is driving the relationship, you have emotion here. Both of you have it. Both of you have the ability to love and nurture and guide each other in this aspect. Physicality will be no doubt. There's certainly um, a very sensual embrace between the two of you with the Queen of Wands and that you're certainly open-minded, both of you, when you're coming together here. So this, um, I think open-mindedness is the biggest um, thing for you to remember about this person and vice versa but look i hope this has been insightful for you capricorn